Welcome back to Struck Gold with uh, another episode. We have Keith Carrier in the building. Uh, what's going on, man? Introduce yourself. Uh, well, you, thank you for the introduction. I am Keith Kari, and uh, thank you for having me on your show, brother. Yeah, no um, yeah so I, I believe that you're bringing me here today to talk more about Gilo. 17 and Gilo is a brand I started. Yes, all right, yeah, so uh, let us know how that originated and uh, what you got you started in that. Um, I believe, it's, I think it's pretty funny. I changed the name like six, seven times. Um, but it, it started back in like 2014. Uh, my brother passed away okay. into a gunshot wound in the park. Tustin's Playground to be exact, across the street from Old Brook High School. Mm -hmm. um, go Panthers. <laughs> but uh, no, he um, he went to go see a fight um, with his friend. And uh, his, his attention, his intent after leaving school was to go home. Um, you know, my brother was, uh, he was like a little nerd. L7, me and my girlfriend, we teased each other. He was an L7, he was a square, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, no, but you know, he was going to leave school, he was supposed to pick up his watch from his girlfriend's house, which is, you know, not too far from the school, and, and go home and play the game like he normally does. But his friend that my mom wasn't too fond of, you know, he kind of always got in trouble. And uh, he's like, you know, I guess the conversation was something like, come, you know, watch this fight with me across the street, it's going to be a Tesla playground. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, my brother, you know, yeah, street about, fight, not like an organized yeah. boxing match. No, street yeah, fight, right, yeah. right. You know, okay. it was just a regular street fight. You know, things go left in, in you school. Know you know, it's yeah. high school, bro. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. things go left. All right, meet you outside, you know. Um, so he went to go see the fight. During the fight, I assume from, you know, the stories, because I wasn't there, uh, these two guys got into an argument. It was like a, it was like a block war. It was so, I think it's so stupid, bro. Like, block wars are like, they're like senseless to me, you know what I mean? Like, it's just stupid, bro. You you fight over a block that one you don't even make money off of, like yeah. bro. You you don't pay property taxes, yeah. you know what I mean? This block, it. Yeah, right. You still you living at your mom's crib, bro. Yeah. <laughs> your mom is renting, you know what I mean? Like it's just stupid. Yeah. But yeah, this block beef, block war, whatever. Um, these two guys started arguing during the fight, like uh, you know, completely two different guys and. Yeah. You know, I guess one flashed his gun or pulled it out, and then another one pulled his gun out, and next thing you know, the guy pulled out a, a, a forty-five caliber. I remember, like it was yesterday. It was, a, you know, they talked about the the damage that the the bullet did to my brother, hmm. and um, he was running away from the crowd shooting. You know what I mean? And um, I guess struck everyone but the person he was aiming for. Right. So, you know, the the bullet went. When the news released their information, it was said that my brother got shot like several times. And it was like, dang, like, you know, we, cause we thinking like, dang, like he got shot more than once. Like, yeah. it, like that sounded like he was targeted, yeah, he you was know what targeted, I mean? Yeah. But the, the bullet did so much damage that, you know, when it went through, he got shot in his left shoulder and it, it like fragments so yeah. it went through his left shoulder out his left like tricep bicep area into his side his right side it went through his abdomen and lodged in his left wrist I'm like wow like you know what I mean like you're yeah. talking about a kid who's like really like innocent like you know how they say like you know, my, you know parents always talk about you know such a good kid <laughs> yeah. you never really know yeah. right you know what I mean or you know, in, in hindsight, it's like, well, you know, they won't say this to, like, you know, news or whatever, but in hindsight, I'm like, yeah, my, my child did get in trouble. They won't say that, yeah. but no, when I tell you my little brother didn't do, like, he was innocent, man. Like, if anything, he would get in trouble for eating too much of the food, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm telling you, man, like, he, that, that was an innocent little boy. I mean, 17 years old, I can say I've done, at 17, I can say I've done some things that I've got in trouble for, man. Like, even stupid story. I and I do this too. It's like sometimes, like you know, when I have conversations. So please excuse me because I like go. I'll go into like a rant. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about a story about something else, and then you know it'll remind me of like a completely different story or whatever. So yeah. you know, when I was like, I, I can't remember. I was probably like 14, 15 years old. We got these free donuts. Remember Hess gas station? Remember there was a Hess? Hess. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the. Uh, we got these free donuts from from the gas station. I guess they were closing out. We took the donuts. They put them in a the trash bag. We took the donuts and we're throwing them in traffic on City F. Like, who does that? You know what I mean? Like, I was a bad kid. Not a bad kid, but, you know, I did some delinquent stuff. But, yeah, BJ, he, he didn't get in anything, man. Um, so, that was in 2013. 
And uh, so I started the brand in 2014, somewhere around there. And um, it's actually started as a, a nonprofit organization called Justice. Okay. And uh, I didn't really have a passion for it. Like I, I wanted to do something in honor of them. But I didn't really have a, a, a passion for the organization. So I started the brand and to be honest, I can't even, I don't even remember the name of the, you know, the what I named it first. I want to say it was, uh, I changed it so many times. Needless to say, um, a few years later, after like taking so many hiatus and actually trying to find like what my purpose is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I grew a love for peace. Yeah. You know, um, I, I've seen so many people die. I've lost so many people to gun violence. So I fell in love with peace. I fell in love with love. And, you know, I've always believed that, you know, if we just love on each other, then yeah. we will cancel out the hate. Probably you know, I, 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 the hate love. ends where love begins, bro. I believe it. And, um, so one question, do you believe that there could be just full peace? Do you think that's the thing? Or do you I do. not believe in like do I believe yin and yang type thing? So do I believe you need there to be chaos for there to be peace? It has to be chaos, bro, because without chaos, the world will be perfect. And there is no such thing as a perfect world. You know, we, right. we, some people may say we need chaos. I don't, I don't see how, why, why, why do we need it? You know what I mean? Because all it does is create this negative energy, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm such a positive person, bro. I hate negative energy, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Like, well, what's the point? What's the point of it? It takes more energy. It's just like how they yeah, say. It takes more energy. Yeah, exactly. It does. It takes more energy to hate or dislike than it does to bro. like or love. Bro. It takes more muscles to it frown takes, in your face. That's exactly what I was about to say. You took it right under my mouth, man. It takes more muscles to frown than it does take to smile. Um. Yeah, so like you know, I started the I started the brand. I named it so many different ones, and uh, I finally I finally got to this one name, Gelo. I don't know where it came from, but I remember it happened in like 2018, and I'm like, Gelo, that that's, that sounds like that's it, it rings, it rolls yeah. off your tongue like it's Gelo, like Gelo. I don't know. And so you were Gelo. saying before uh, that you had a different name before that. Is this one solidified was, or is this it? is solidified? This okay. is actually on paperwork. You know what I mean? Like I finally came up with the name on. On paperwork, you know what I mean. Like this is the one that I finalized. Like it's, it's Julo, yeah, exactly. seventeen and Julo, Julo, okay. uh, and it started out as an acronym. Well, it still is an acronym, right. and it's G I L O, and it's acronym for God is Love, and that's how the brand started. You know, I have you know a Baptist background, and I was born and raised Christian, so you know I always was taught like you know God is love, love is God, you know, and because I fell in love with love to create peace. Uh, you know, it, it kind of like, you know, it, it intertwined with each other. So Julo, Julo, 17 and Julo, and 17 is the age in which he passed away. And I took that number and ran with it. And the funny thing about that is, is like, you know, you know how some things you just, you know, happen for a reason, bro. Like, it's like some people who, who aren't religious or aren't spiritual, they say like, it's the universe, the stars yeah. align. I believe that because I took the number, which is the age he passed away. Yeah. And um, I started the brand because I wanted to create, or I believe in world peace, or you know, spreading love. Hate ends where love begins. And um, the number seventeen is actually symbolic for the desire for peace and love for all humanity. Yeah. And that's why I started the brand. So you know, when it, when they say the stars align, mm -hmm. bro, it did align when I started this. You know what I mean? And you know, after eight years of actually working and building and thinking and brainstorming it, it finally came down to like this is this is the one this is it so so uh how did it feel making your first sale I and mean, like what was the process going on I, that? honestly bro i don't care about money okay i don't i didn't i didn't do this for the money bro but you did, know, did like, it feel good for you getting that absolutely. message out there you know what i mean like absolutely. yeah even That's, if it was for free or whatever it came up, it was like yo someone has this and they know what's going on absolutely. They know the story. Yeah. listen bro when i started when i and this was in 20 like 2017 I want to say it was 2017. I was, I used to live. This is when I lived in Southwest, and um, the name of the brand was Bernard Jamal. So that's that's my brother's first name and middle name, Bernard Jamal. And that had a meaning behind it too. And uh, I had the I had made these bomber jackets, and they were like, yo, know, my 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 supporters loved them. I hated it. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to come out. Mm -hmm. It was rushed. But I had to put something out there. And um. I was I was I had some in, I had some in my car. I was coming home from work, 
and uh, I seen this homeless man. This homeless man I see like almost every night. If I'm working seven nights out of the week, I see him five. Okay. And one day I just I didn't have money. I just didn't have the money. You know what I mean? Like I see homeless people, I went out. Yeah. And um, I'm like it's cold. It was a cold night. And uh, I was like, look, bro, I don't got no money, but you know what? You got you you got a hoodie on. It's freezing out here, bro. I got a jacket in my car. Okay. And still with the tag, the hang tag. You know how you go to the you go to the mall, you buy something, you got the hang tag on it. That's the one you cut off before you wanna. You know, rock it or whatever, or you don't yeah. cut it off because right, you might want to take it back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, like it still had the hang tag on it, and I'm like, yo, like this, this is all I could do for you right now, bro. And you know, like, just, just, you know, just with that, like, you know, it's just getting, like you said, getting the message out there. And it wasn't even that's not even that wasn't my goal. That wasn't my intent. My my goal, my intent was to help bro out. Like it's, it's yeah. a cold winter night. I got the yeah, jacket nah, in my yeah. car. I'm not even wearing. Exactly it. right. You know, this is for you. So, um. Making sales, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna sit here and be like, nah, I don't feel good making sales. Yeah. Absolutely, because you you saw something that I made or invested in myself and you liked it enough to spend money on it. So yeah. yes, I, you know, yeah. I, I, it feels good, but you know, in all reality is I want you to purchase it and rock it and people see it and, and, and then want to know more about the brand and, and see why I'm doing it. Mm. You know, it's more so why I'm doing it that I do it instead exactly, of yeah. trying to make money. That's what got me interested. When I first seen it, I was asking everybody, hey, where did you get these hats? And they told me it was you. Right. And you told me the story. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Cop, cop the three pair I got now. Yeah, I right. Need to, I need to re-up on these new ones here. Right, right, you know, yeah, right. It's real no, nice. Yeah, you, you, and you know, you've been, all, all of y'all, man, you know, my family from, you know, from, from that job, you know, it's just, y'all definitely, you know, held it down and, and supported me like crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Still to this day. You know, it was very professional, very good. So, so when you said you were start started with jackets, so did you have like a base like all right, I'm just gonna do clothes or I'm just gonna do jackets and that just wasn't working out and then it was like a hat is more of an all year round thing. Yo, that's funny that you asked me that. The hat started, um, so I, you, you know how you go to the mall, they got the kiosk, you get t-shirts, hats, whatever mm -hmm. the kids. Yeah. So I I saw this one kiosk. I don't know where it came from, but you know I used to be a, a heavy hat dude and I wasn't a hat dude, mm -hmm. but. I, I walked past this one kiosk and I was like, I want to get some hats made or at, for myself. It was right, personal, right. and um, kind of like the ones you know these right here, more of a flatter brown. You could curve it though. You can bend, yeah, you know, yeah. you get a nice little bend, whatever. And um, I was like, I'm, you know, seventeen. That's the age my brother passed away. I seventeen till I die. It became my second favorite number. Everybody got their favorite number, right? Yeah. You know, seventeen became my second favorite number. Um, and uh, I got this hat made seventeen on the front of it. And on the back of it, or no, that was one. So that was one of three. So on one of three, on the back of it, it said "In Lover Memory of Bernard Jamal," and then the other two that I got me on it said that on the side. Okay. But it had nothing to do with what I wanted to do with my brand, bro. Like I didn't think I would be making hats or right. designing hats, yeah. and then hats that have so much meaning behind it. Like these hats have so so much meaning behind it. But I started with um. Like hoodies and, and jackets, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what I wanted to dive into building a brand, a clothing brand at that. Like, yeah. you just like I want to make something like, I make stuff that I would want to wear. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I look at, I try to look at my brand as from a consumer standpoint. Uh, I can see that you got different designs and all. So, what are the meaning behind all these different designs that they have? So, the meaning behind the. The yellow box, and these are the ones that I have still in stock. Like I have seven designs. Okay. Um, these are the three that I still have in stock. Um, this yellow one here, uh, in the yellow box, that's the Summer House collaboration I did with Summer House. Right. Um, that is a organization that my cousin and his one, like one of his closest friends, best friend, he's like a, he's a brother, man. Yeah. Um, they actually started this organization called Summer House where. They highlight the lack of black male educators in America. Okay. I think it's dope. So I did a little bit more research myself, and um, before, because if I'm doing a collaboration with somebody, I wanna, I wanna know what it is yeah. that I'm collabing with. You know what I mean? Or is that more word? Right. Collaborating. That's the word. Collab. Collaborate. <laughs> um. So, after a little bit more research on their website, come to find out there's only two percent of black male educators. In America, and that kind of described the design on the side of the box. There are yeah. two black stick figures out of a hundred. You know, you, obviously the math is 
two out of a hundred is two right. percent. So that's pretty much the design behind, you know, the, the meaning behind that. Be kind, um, it's heavy. Uh, be kind. That's the one with the B on it, right? The one with the B on it, and it, it's I believe it's it's plain and simple. There's no like no, yeah, no real <laughs> no real heavy like uh, 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 subliminal meaning behind right, it. Yeah. A little bit, but not nothing heavy. So I did some research on that, and um, you know I wanted to. For some reason, I just wanted the insect on the hat. I wanted to design an insect to put on the hat. I thought it had like some, you know, a, a nice little design flowetry to it. Yeah. And um, I, I, I looked up bees. You know, I always. It's so funny because the brand is God is love. So I always kind of like revert to the Bible to kind of find a message first. And I was like, you know, let me look up what the bee. How, what yeah. what type of biblical meaning yeah, yeah, yeah. is it to a bee? And um, come to find out, this is not in the Bible, but come to find out the B is symbolic for prosperity. So, be kind, and it's spelled B-E-E, -E, and not just B-E, -E, be right. kind. It's B-E-E, -E, be kind, that is to prosper kindness. You know, if we prosper kindness and be kind to one another, then maybe we can start having, you know, some type of change, yeah, you know? That's pretty deep to me, that's a pretty deep meaning uh, to me, yeah, yeah that's pretty good, I was just tell be, that. Yeah, be, be kind, mm. and that complimented Evil Doom. So I, I actually came up with Be Kind first, and it was like this was like a drop that I wanted. I wanted to drop two. Mm -hmm. Like I, this time I want to drop two hats. I always drop one hat, one but this time I want to drop two. Give, you know, my supporters some to look forward to. So I came up with the Evil Doom design, and this one kind of like blew me away, bro. Like you know, sometimes I do stuff and actually surprise myself, and sometimes I make stuff and I'm like, ah, I don't like it. Um, but the Evil Doom has Be Kind is my favorite, but the message behind Evil Doom actually um is my favorite. And Evil Doom, so on this on the left side of, of the hat, there's a dragon with a sword going through the dragon um, to symbolize it being slain. Uh, in the Bible, the dragon is symbolic for um, evil, you know, like like great evil, like, the, you know, and the sword going through the dragon, uh, it pretty much is uh, like, you know, I'm ending evil. Like, this is, you know, I'm killing you. It's you food, yeah. yeah. So uh, the, the dragon being slain is like, I'm, I'm slaying evil, like, no more. So I'm like, yeah, that's dope, but like, I need more. Like, this, it just can't be evil doom. And I just kept looking at evil doom. I just kept, like, looking at the words evil doom, evil doom. I'm like, how can, how can I make this, like, even more fire than like yeah. evil doom that's that's nice that's fire but it's not, I'm not, it's not fire like, it, thank you but it, it didn't do anything for me bro it's like you know like you, when you know your potential it's like mm -hmm. so i kept looking at it, evil doom evil doom and then for some weird reason bro it just this just be god talking to me dog like it, it gotta be i i took evil doom the letters how it's spelled e v i l D O O M mm -hmm. and took them and flipped them entirely backwards. And it means mood live. My mood is to live. You know, my mood is not to kill. Evil, doom, put an end to evil. My mood is to live. I wanna That's kill true. evil, but I wanna live, you know what right, I mean? Exactly. Instead of killing each other, why don't we kill evil? Yeah. You know, why don't we kill the 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 ingredient that is causing all the chaos yeah. that we live today? So, you know, is evil doom uh, reverse this move live so the meaning backwards is pretty much the same meaning it is forward you know what I mean and I was like oh, that's that's pretty dope man that's my mood is to live but you know I'm I'm, I'm in the evil so evil don't move live and that's the that's the message behind evil don't what about this um orange this orange one that's, that, that's evil doom that's evil yeah, doom that's the three oh that's yeah the, we went through all three that's the three yeah. um this one is the love piece yeah that's, that the, I'm wearing. that's the last one i've seen you drop actually yeah 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 so this is the 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 love piece one i mean it's plain and simple you know love and peace yeah, I like it. love and peace you know um that's what the brand that's like the brand ethos love peace kindness you know mm -hmm. what i mean like that's that's what i believe we should spread man no, it's a lot of, yeah for real a lot of so, nonsense going on so oh uh, you doing all this by yourself Say it again. Uh, is this always like being done by yourself? Do you have like a team? Uh, this is just, just you? It's me, yeah. It's okay. just, yeah, it's just me. So did you ever get a hat? Like, do you do, what are they, I guess, samples first? Like to see what it comes out looking like? Or do you just order a whole bunch of this? So, yeah, it kind of works like that. Okay. Um, I don't get one delivered to me. So like I have manufacturers in China. And um, I'll do my designs on a laptop. You know, I get busy. And then uh, I'll forward that, 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 uh, 
Spot. That rollout. Yeah, I'll forward that rollout to my um my manufacturer and then you know what they'll do is they'll make one first before we go full blast, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I don't want them to waste their money no, yeah. and time on. Oh, so oh, yeah. they'll send me pictures, but what they'll do is they'll send me pictures and of each, you know, all the angles, the inside, mm -hmm. um, because the insides, you know, I, I get my, my labels made, I got to make sure the labels is right, and then um, we go from there. If I approve, we go from there. You know, I have a really great report with them, you know, they're, they're good people. So they they, they um, supply with the with the packaging too. Cause no, you always you always surprise me with this fucking packaging. Yeah, just, every time, I mean, it's everybody's right? favorite part, yo, bro. Real right. yeah, I don't want to yeah, lose yeah. the box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I don't want to lose the box. I get mad when one gets. Funny story, cruise. yo. It's <laughs> like one dude hit me up. I don't even think this guy ever bought a hat, right? He hit me up on Instagram. I was like, yo. You selling them boxes? <laughs> what? No, bro. I said, no, bro. You got to order a hat, bro. Uh -huh. You you know, you can't just get a box. Yeah, we can't have no Taco Bell Gilos, yo. Bro, that's what somebody <laughs> said to me. Too. I was like, no, they just wanted to cop your style. No, yeah, for real. It got to be a different box, man. The packaging is everything, man. I told you, like, I look at... If I'm making something and if I wanted to buy something from a, a company, an up and coming company at, at that, you when you go to the mall, you go to the store, you go to Gucci or whatever, mm -hmm. it ain't gotta be that high brand. You go to Lucky Brand or mm -hmm. True Religion or wherever you go to buy clothes from, they always send you out with like a nice bag yeah. or they put the paper over it like uh, it's a yeah. gift. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so when I, I looked at it like that, like I it started with when we were working at the club, mm -hmm. and I was wearing my black 17 and OG, black yeah. and white John, man. My that's, one. that's my favorite one. <laughs> and um, people were like asking me, you know, can I get a hat? I was selling them out the car with no boxes, just yeah, a hat. Just, yeah. just like right off the top of my head. The only the, the only thing I had in it was the uh, the paper that they put in the front mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, this ain't it. Like, I don't want this hand in hand contact. Like, it's. Mm -hmm. Not because of COVID, like, you know yeah, what I mean? It's just like, like, like yeah, you, you, you're, you're buying a product. Like, when you buy food, they, they don't they really <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Really like, so, I was like, oh, I got to do something better. And I started doing the boxes. Then, after the boxes started, I, I started doing the, the protective paper that come on the back of the snack. You know, it's mm -hmm. protected. Um, then the hang tags. And it's like, you know, I want... Uh, People who invest in the brand itself, even if they don't know the meaning or why I'm doing it, yeah. at least make them feel good about their purchase. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people I know don't even open a box because as you can see now, the boxes have sales with serial numbers on the front. That's okay. how you can... you you can uh, Prove the authenticity right there. My guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like That's exactly what it is. You know? Come so, collectibles. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like I always say, like... You know, I feel like the hats are going to be, out of all the articles of clothing I'm going to do with the brand, hoodie, sweatshirt, t-shirt, socks, whatever yeah. may have you, um, the hats, I, I, want, I want it to be dead stock. You know what I mean? I want I want to be able to see it on like hype beasts and like oh they, yeah. these reselling for such and such. Yeah, you know what I mean? Or you go and go like I I see I want to see it there. You know what I mean? Like I want people to be hype over it. No, just fact, like, yeah. You know, that's I'm, an exclusivity. So exactly. Do you how many how many do you make per batch per design? Do you just would that be like giving up the juice though? You know what I mean? I mean, like, I mean no. I mean, so I do fifty. So no, I, I like to keep it limited. Yeah, um, that's what I do. Mean. I do fifty now, right? Okay. However. The bigger the brand gets, the more I'll start yeah. dropping. Yeah. Um, not because of financial reasons, but because it has a bigger audience. Yeah. Right now, 50 is an exclusive amount of number for the, the, the type of fan base that Gilo has right now. Um, if it if money goes yeah. nationwide, then maybe I'll start doing like 200 or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? When, you know, I, I look up to people like Jerry Lorenzo and... Uh, Virgil Abloh and um, Mike and Mary, like those are yeah. like Pharrell Williams, you know, like these are guys that I look up to when it comes to designing and they always drop a limited amount of something, yeah. you know, like there's there's always one particular thing or, you know, like, like Jerry Lorenzo has a fair guy sweatshirts, now sweatsuits, t-shirts, um, I don't know, of course, I don't know the ins and outs of what his right. business or how he drops, but that's something that you can just find and like when he drops them, you know, you yeah. can pick it up. It's not like his fair guys, you know, his sneakers or his right, boots yeah. where once they drop and they come out, you're not getting them. Yeah, again. you're not getting them. The sweatshirt, sweats, yeah. you know, the sweatsuits, you know what I mean? You, you're going to find yeah, them, you're going to drop them again. 
I'm not dropping these again. You no, know what I mean? So there, yeah. it has to be like in a, a limited amount. It has to remain exclusive, bro. Like, I, pieces, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I love when people hit me up like, "Yo, you dropping these again?" Nah, oh, I'm sorry, you missed it. No, yeah, see, I was just about to get into that. The uh, the black, red, and blue one, they're done. Black is always going. It's black is gonna be like, okay, OJ, good, because I think I'm gonna need a new one anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Somebody just hit me up for that one too. Like, you, know, like, you got any more black? Yeah, I fucking love that, bro. Fall. Fall. It's coming fall. With, with the, you know, a, a, a bunch of other stuff. Right, so you're gonna have like, this is, you do collections too? So you do do like a This is a collection right here. So okay. these, these two right here, they're collections. That's a subliminal collection. Mm -hmm. Um, That is the, uh, the capsule collection. It's a capsule collective, actually. Yeah, I like that. Um, and so with the collabs, you were saying, so is there anybody that you look forward to collabing with in the future? Actually, companies or people? Absolutely. Um, I look forward to collabing with that even if like we gotta look it up on on, on Webster is collabing a word like yeah, I believe, I'm gonna look it up right or is it collaborating you know what I mean like collabing yeah I said it right here collab it, it is no collab is a word it's but collabing like, or collaborating it, it's alright so let's just go that collaborating it's collaborating it, 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 it just People sounds weird right, right? <laughs> <laughs> just thinking of my own words yeah. up here um yeah so I just had a conversation a small conversation with uh Will Walker who is the uh, CEO designer of Benny Peru, and uh, we're actually going to do a collab. Um, also, had a conversation with Mayor, who is the owner and designer of Voltaire. We're going to do a collaboration as well. Um, doing a collaboration with a brother of mine, who uh, who is the owner and designer of Love Thyself. Um, all all fully brands, man. You know what I mean. Of course, I want to venture all of my my bucket list. I want to I want to collab with Pharrell. I would love to collab with Pharrell Williams, bro. Nike, I don't know what I would do with Nike. I don't make yeah. sport, you know. I never <laughs> thought about making sport clothing, but it's Nike, bro. You know what I mean? Like, um, something with Drake. I don't, I don't know. Like, it, you know what I mean? People that I look up to, people who, not just as you know, uh, as as artists or or who they are, but as creatives. Like, you know, I want to, I want to collab with the creatives that I look up to. So, um, do you work with uh? Uh, what is it? The creative control? Do you share that with these people too, or do you just give them a, a stamp of like you know what I mean, a box? What you mean? Like so, if you're collabing with let's say person A, do they get to come in and have creative control over? A the absolutely, the, absolutely. Okay. If I'm talking to the person who, if I'm talking to the creator, yeah. Like let's say like I, I don't really know the business like that, you know. Um, let's say uh, Nike, mm -hmm. right? Let's for you just throw it out there, right? If I'm talking to somebody from Nike, let's say if I'm talking to the owner of Nike, yeah, you know what I mean. Like I'm pretty sure he really doesn't yeah. have like he's not in the the, mm -hmm. the lab, you know, with the creators. He has a a, a whole line of creators. Oh, geez, yeah. You know what I mean. I'm not going to be talking to the owner of Nike. I want to be talking to the creative. So when you talk yeah. about Will Walker or um, uh, Mir or or my like I said my my brother my Anthony like if we're if I'm I'm talking to the creator yes they have our owner too but I'm talking to the creator so yeah if I'm talking to the creator absolutely I want to hear what you have you know I I believe I am very creative you know it has been spoken to me I used to doubt myself a whole lot um I do believe I am very creative now um but I don't have all the ideas yeah bro. you don't have all the <laughs> you know what I mean I want to hear what other people got to say you know no facts it's a collaboration exactly. for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right, some people do collab with people and then it's just like not the same as it used to be. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, right. this isn't like his last one he dropped. Right. Or, you know what I mean? Like, even with that, like, I don't think all the collaborations are going to be hats. Yeah. I want to do other stuff. Right. Hats are just the fleet of the brand. Sure. There will always be the fleet of the brand. Yeah. Um, I got somebody paid homage the other day. It was like, bro, you, cause like, you, you know, you. I know you want to drop other stuff, but you got to think about it, bro. You're going crazy with hats. Yeah. Like, nobody's doing that. Nah. He's like, well, Chance the Rapper? I was like, yeah. yeah he's like, but, the person. He has he's like, like but nobody's yeah. doing that. Like, your brand is just hats, bro, and they're fire. I was like, hey, you're right. You know, some people have to speak yeah. life into me sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's just like, I don't know, is it there? You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, that was a great reminder. It was a great, like, push. I and mean, sometimes mm -hmm. I need that one behind my back. No, yeah. Because I... I would love a, a 17 sweatsuit to go with my all-black hat, man. Talk, talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Talk to me. You Couple know? bombers, all that. Come in this fall, yeah. bro. All this right, fall. Yeah, so, that's, so that's the next thing you got coming up? I want to drop a catalog. A mini catalog. Mini catalog. Yeah, mini catalog. Okay. So these were the last ones that you released? The most recent ones. Okay. Yeah, the last three drops. Well, I mean, uh, Be Kind and the Evil Doom, the two, the two uh, mm -hmm. 
white color ones here, they they drop together. That's why they're in the same box. Right. Um. By the way, the box really has nothing to do with the design. I just thought the box is fire. Yeah, fire box. I don't know what it, some something hit me and was like astronauts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I put astronaut helmets on a box, and you know, it just I thought it was fire. You know, I have an obsession. It's a secret obsession with NASA for some weird reason. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I threw that on the box. Maybe it's subliminal in some way. Yeah, like it. So do you design a box with them too, or do you I just go through a design everything? I do. Yeah. You know, I cut out a lot of middlemen. Yeah, you know. that's good. But it's just too like as a as a designer, graphic designer myself. Um, like there are individuals who who I know who know I do graphic design approach me and ask me to do like logos or that they'll ask me to design like other stuff. And what I appreciate most about me being able to design my own stuff is is because when I'm designing for other people, uh, it's kind of hard to have the two different creative minds come together on like and agree on one yeah. thing. You know, you, I, I vent to my girlfriend all the time like. Oh man, I hate doing logos for other people, man. Cause I I do this fire logo and fall in love with it. And I'm like, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn, like. So now I gotta go back to the drawing board. But you know, I cut out a lot of middlemen. And I was saying that to say this, like, I'm happy that I'm I'm able to design my own stuff. Yeah. Because what I have, like, when I'm thinking and envisioning, it's so hard to describe to people so that they can execute and bring to fruition exactly what's in my brain, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Okay. You know, sometimes I can't even do it for myself. Um, so that's like that's I think that's the most one of the most beautiful things about you know learning. I went to YouTube University. I don't know if you've ever been. Where is it called? YouTube University. You YouTube University. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, I, yeah I, I got master's degrees yeah, from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My doctorate. Yeah, exactly. I'm definitely sure who my doctorate. <laughs> but no, I learned graphic design from YouTube, man. Yeah, you know, no, it's that's a great fine. source of information. Cause I remember before you were showing up. Me and him, uh, what was that? An intro? What was that? It, was like, it was like a visual, it was like an intro to That's a, when I was doing motion graphics. Motion graphics, there it is. That, I that, quit. You quit? Why'd you quit that? That shit looks good. Alright, it's time consuming, right? Okay. And to have the right type of uh, hardware for that, you guys spend a couple of hours. Yeah. You know, that, that's a $7,500 laptop. Yeah. I want one. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a big Apple dude. You know, I do all my stuff on MacBook. Yeah, PC bill. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, that costs a lot of money. Matt, so, like, when. <laughs> Whatever, whichever one I show, I don't know. Do you remember? I don't remember which one. It was, was it the one with? Uh, it was where something. Where it zooms out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it zooms yeah. out from the apartment. It goes into space. You can see the Earth. Exactly. Rotate. That was you the see one. See the right sun yeah, setting, yeah, yeah. and then it goes into heaven. That was scary. You know yeah. how long it took me to do that? How long? Almost a month, bro. What? And then yeah, how long was that clip? Bro, they don't like 30 seconds, bro. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I feel it that. took me a day a second. Yeah, <laughs> you I'm know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was really, it was really good though. Thank you. Yeah. But that's because of the process. You know, graphic cards and yeah. you know, I didn't have the right the right kind mm -hmm. of hardware to yeah, it's just process take forever for oh. you to see what the final thing was. And then and then it's like that's so funny too because it's like, alright, so you you create the different clips. So you know, Adobe is like the one of the best softwares ever, bro. So like you, you create the, the clips in, in segments. Like they're you're not doing the entire like how we're doing this interview. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's gonna be one one segment, you know what I mean? Those clips you gotta do like alright, so like the part where the where it's you see the the news because that's how it starts yeah. of the 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 news you're like you're sitting on your couch watching what happened to my brother mm -hmm. like the actual footage of the the news right and then it's zooming out right like you're sitting on the couch and it's like you're, you're it's zooming out and then after the clip goes off the tv does the white noise like shh, mm -hmm. you know and then it cuts off and then it's like you're pulled out of the window because that's where it goes it's yeah. from the couch to the window you're pulled out the window that's one that's one segment bro when you when I finish that and complete it, I have to render it out. Yeah. That rendering takes minutes, sometimes hours, yeah. bro. And that's just like the first, just like the first the five, first six seconds. seconds. Yeah. Yes, bro. <laughs> then I gotta do the other one and another one, you know, so it yeah. takes time, bro. I don't wanna do motion graphics. That's like, you know, you know, maybe if I was making movies for Disney or something, I'd be yeah. more interested in more, that. A better paying job than that, right? Yeah. Like, yeah bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So does that help you uh in designing these, like on the computer and stuff too, like do you do like little like motion commercials for these or? Um, I kind of, uh, 
kind of like shied away from like doing motion graphics from mm -hmm. just in general. Just, just time consuming, man. So, uh, yeah, like I would love to, you know. It's just now, I want to take the brand and I, I want to elevate. I want to I want to become one of those um um bougie for lack of a yeah, better yeah, yeah. term bougie street brands like off white yeah, exactly or, yeah. or you know like fear of god you mm -hmm. know what i mean these uh these mikey mary has his they're like little like like sub they're like sub designer you know, right yeah, 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 you know sense, I mean? yeah right it's so not like, ten thousand dollars a jacket you can right. get it from a thousand bucks so you know i want to do motion graphics yeah. i just want to do like a fire photo shoot with a beautiful model and then mm -hmm. just go off from there you know what yeah. i mean maybe a video or something subtle yeah absolutely that's simple they keep it simple, bro. I saw a, I saw a, a, a Gucci commercial, and it was like five seconds long, and it made me want to buy what was on there. How? how? How do you do that? You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's subtle stuff. It's just it's a high it's a it's a high fashion brand. You know what I mean? I kind of wanna mm -hmm. I wanna get there, but not 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 there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I don't wanna you know do nothing like too crazy like that. I just wanna be a, a fire street brand, bro. Like yeah. you know what I mean? It's a, a street wear. You know some. Something you can wear, you know, a, a, a sweatsuit that you can wear at the club. Yeah. Spending however much money you're going to spend at the club, but you're going to also wear it at, like, a, you know, if the female is wearing it at a bridal shower. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, just. Yeah, no. You, can, you yeah. can wear it wherever you want to wear it. You know what I mean? It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Formal, casual, all that. Yeah, by wearing. I, as I'm looking now, and I'm noticing that most of your designs are, are I guess, color, so, you know, more masculine. You're going to have any, like, more female designs? That's like funny you pink and that, purple yeah. and stuff like that coming yeah. out? Do you think this is masculine? I do. I I'm, masculine, yeah, I'm, I, I'm getting heavy flyers vibes from that. That's what I'm rocking. I would rock that with my flyers. If you wasn't from Philly, would you say that? No. Well, see. what do you, you know say? That's <laughs> a bias, that was a biased statement. Yeah, well, I'm from Philly, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I got, so I got a, a drop that I want, and I actually might push it back because we're uh you know mm -hmm. slowly creeping out of summer um but is this one drop is pink lemonade really like, yeah man it's gonna be fire bro oh yeah I, I'm but exclusive on that but the crown <laughs> the crown is white okay not white but all white. All white. yeah, yeah. <laughs> first of all that that is the most dopest yeah. Name brand, they, like they snatched it right up. Off they white, it right like it's up. a color, like you know what I mean. Yeah, my sister every other day. Can you make an off white shirt? So first of all, if you want to, that kid wants an off white shirt. Don't make me buy one. She's gonna get made fun of. That's design, right? That's, that's like a hundred bucks a t-shirt. No facts. Two hundred dollar t-shirt. It's not white. I'm not making it. It's not white, but it's off white. Look what color color's new. It's not white, but it's off white. Yeah, thank you. You know what I mean? Like that's. I think it's dope. Um, yeah, like I can't really do it, like. I don't think you could really drop like something off white and like that mm -hmm. color like ivory or whatever you know like a a light like a super super light gray you mm -hmm. know what I mean it's not white but it's not gray type yeah. thing I don't, you can't really drop that when it's cool you know what I mean yeah. then even on top of that like and it, even like in the winter time like if y'all paid attention like when we was all working together um I wasn't doing no drops in the winter time I did I did this this came out in November yeah that was it that was a this, this did come out in November yeah. but I was itching to drop something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't really do drops in the wintertime because, like, who's it's not really wearing, like, these kind of hats yeah. in the wintertime. It's more, yeah, skullies and shit like that. Exactly. Ski masks are coming. Ski masks. I was about to say, so you are going to dwell on that. Absolutely, yeah. man. That's the way, yeah, it's been the way for the last few years. I didn't want to do it for a while. People kept asking, like, you yeah, guys get some, right, 17, 17 shy piece. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, um, I just want to do it. I seen some fire ski masks. I could do that. That's actually dope. It's a ski yeah. mask. And then, like, I have a ski mask. I don't wear the ski mask. I roll it up. Not right. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. So I could do something, you know. But that's mm -hmm. coming this, you know, this fall, winter. Yeah. Fall, winter release. Okay. <clears throat> and then you said that you already have something already in the works now? Like, everything's already made up and ready to drop this fall? No. No? You still working on that? Still working on it. Still working on yeah. it. Okay. Still working. I actually even touched it. I haven't touched it yet. Mm. Um, bro... This is not a, this is nothing boastful. This is, this is, I'm going to say this as humbly as I can. When I want to drop something, it's God given, bro. It just comes to me like that. I don't never have to work on it for days and days at a time. When it's mine, like it's not something I'm doing for somebody else. When it's mm -hmm. mine, I can just, I can complete it in a day, in a day's time. It just hits me. You know what I mean? That's why I believe that the gift that I have, I, I believe it's God given, bro. You know, it's not just a fire design. It's, 
it's a message behind it. And then, um, you know, the message and the design, it all hit me at one time. And people asking, like, my cousin, we had the conversation. My cousin, who is the CSO of North 13, he, um, we had this conversation one day. He was like, how do, he's like, how do you get creative? I was like, bro, I don't know. He's like, I don't really think about it. Like, how do you get creative? I was like, you know what, what get, you know, gets my creative juices flowing? I was like, mm-hmm. I, I watch cartoons, bro. Like, yeah. Toy Story is my favorite movie. This is facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I watch stuff. Like, it could be, I could be driving in traffic or on the highway and see a billboard. I was like, oh, that was, that was fire. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the last, the most recent thing that I saw that really inspired me. It had nothing to do with nothing. You know what I mean? It's just certain things. Like, it just, you know, it hit me like, that's it. Why did you say you was gonna be back? So, how long you been there for? Eight years? Around there? 2014. On and off, though, like it wasn't like you know consistent. Okay. I think if I stay consistent. You know, if I stay consistent, do I think I will be as creative? No, because it took time, right? Yeah. Um, it took those hiatuses for me to actually brainstorm. Do I think I'd be further with the brand? Absolutely. So, eight years on and off came with a gift and a curse, but I believe I am right where I'm supposed to be. Right. Yeah, but 2014 to now, yeah, eight years. Have you, within that time, within that time period, have you ever run in any competition? Anybody else out here? Like, no, my, my shit's better. This is one dude, uh, I can't remember the, I can't remember the name. No Magic, I believe is his, the name he, his stage name that he goes by, but he, he drops some fire snapbacks. Um, there's another brand, uh, it's based out of New York, named Godspeed. Okay. Um, I like his stuff. Um, do I think it's better than I know? I'll be honest with you, I don't. Yeah. But I think it's fire. Um, you know, I'd be definitely be critiquing other people's stuff. I mean, I guess that's just what you do as yeah. a creative, you know what I mean? You yeah. see people's stuff and you're like, dang, that's fire. You see people's stuff and you're like, nah, I, yeah. my stuff definitely, like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, I've definitely come over, even doing pop-up shots, I, <laughs> I had a conversation with this one guy, it's called, uh, I ain't gonna put his name out there, I ain't gonna name drop that one, because I definitely think I'm, I'm dropping some fecal matters on him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like, like his, his, it's just, it just wasn't there, bro, like, and he saw my, he came to my table, and he saw my hats, and all, and he was like, yo, these are fire, he was like, you, the pop-up shot was in New York, he's like, you ain't get these from... I forget the name of the street. You, do you remember the name? It was 128th Street or something like that. Whatever the name of the street is, like it's like Philly's 52nd Street. <laughs> okay. You know where you get all yeah, the yeah, stuff yeah. for cheap and uh, not yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's no. like you ain't get these hats from there. I was like, no, nah, bro. I was like, it's like man, my, this this came out of the country, man. I was like, I got a manufacturer out of, out of the country. They actually put the they they time and okay. they sweat and tears in this, man. You know what I mean? You know, I try to express how uh, important my brand is to me to the manufacturers, so they know like. Like let's make this right for him. Like he, you know what I mean. Like, I want people to understand. Like you know, he's not doing. He, he's he's doing this for a change of some some form of fashion. Like I, bro, if I never get rich off of Gelo, okay. I you know I I know of other ways to make money. Um, the most important thing about this is you know a why I'm doing it. You know I think that's the most important thing about Gelo is is why I'm. Yeah. So is there anything else that you want to tell the people before we wrap it up in here? Uh, now you, you need to give them your social media uh, links and any websites and stuff Girl. like that so they can um, grab some merch. Nah, I, I, don't, I don't think I have... I mean, I can have this conversation about this. You know, I, like really, I got notes on my phone to like, like why, like, you know, why I chose love. Like why... Mm-hmm. Why am I inspired so much of love? You know what I mean, um, bro. We could we could go on and on. You know what I mean. Um, but we we could leave it here. We could leave it here. I could say that for like you know another interview at another another time where I could even say before you know a, a drop. You know what I mean. I might use it for a drop. You know all the information I have. I, I studied love in order to drop this brand. I studied the word itself and the the origin and you know how what the the meaning 
the, the Greek meaning of love, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, I, I studied it. Um, but yeah, my social media, my personal social media is Keith.Kyrie, that's spelled K-H-Y-R-E-E. -E. You can find me on Instagram. Um, Gilo's page is 17, the number, 17, Gilo, G-I-L-O, that's also on Instagram. And the uh, website is the same, 17gilo.com. Um, and the website is, is on my, my personal page and the business page. Alright. Well, I think that's about it. Um, well, what we're going to need is a shout out, man. It's struck gold. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna need something that you in the building with us, man. Shout out, shout out to my brother, Swag. Mm -hmm. And, and Maul. Is Maul part of Struck Gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my production. brother Swag and Maul, man. You know, I've known these guys for the, the small amount of time that I've known them, and they have been nothing but, you know, uh, uh, brothers to me, man. I love these guys to death. Um, check out they, their YouTube channel, Struck Gold. They're putting it, they're actually, you know, making a platform for, you know, the, the what's the what's the word, the underdogs like yeah. myself, you know what I mean? So I appreciate you for having me. Yeah, you know, no both problem. of y'all, man. This is an honor. Yeah, anytime, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Struck Gold. Uh, until next time. All right. Good shit. Great fucking energy.